Today is Choose English Day. From 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m., join your equipped and efficient elementary English tutors as they bring fun and exciting learning in the world of English. Let us help make your educational journey in English easier and simpler. Every Tuesday, 1 p.m. to 4.20 p.m. Only here at Itulai official Facebook page and YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulai, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello, good afternoon, maayong hapon to everyone who's watching us through our official Deped Itulai FB page and Deped Itulai YouTube channel. Yes, magandang magandang hapon sa lahat ng mga mag-aral, guru at mga magulang na nakatutok sa ating ngayon. It's Tuesday and it's Choose English Day. <laughs> And still on screen, ang inyong alas sa English 4, this is Tutor Ace. At ako pa rin pong inyong katuwang tungo sa karunungan, this is Tutor Anne, all the way from the land of sweet surprises, Negros Occidental. And still seeing and believing the champions in you, we are your online tutors for English 4. And, siyempre, Tutor Anne, before we proceed, we have a couple of reminders for our champion learners for this afternoon. Starting with, siyempre, uh, palagi, natin niri, uh, palagi natin nire-remind to, always uh, show respect kahit sa ating comment section pa yan. Alright? Malag, palaging maging respectful with your uh, classmates. Uh, at ano pa ba yung gagawin nila, Tutor Anne? Yes, tama yan, Tutor Ace. And also, dear tutees, don't forget to click the share button. Ika nga nila, di ba? Sharing is scary, di ba? So click the share button at ang marami pa ang maka makasali at makapanood sa atin ngayong hapong ito. All right, so uh, we are encouraging everyone to go ahead and share ang ating tutorial session for this Tuesday afternoon. And Tutor Ann, why don't we start with our one-minute shout-out para sa ating mga champion learners. Uh, Please do the honors, Shooter Ann. Yes, sisimulan ko na dito, Shooter Ace. Of course, uh, sa nangunguna nating uh, shooty this afternoon, Yana Ray Leonardo. Good afternoon from uh, Tilapayan Elementary School with her advisor, Mrs. Evelyn Mendoza Francisco. And we also have here, uh, good afternoon then, kay Shaina May Escribel watching from um, GRSNHS, uh, School Division of Camarina Sur. And we also have Eileen, good afternoon. And also good afternoon to Loton, Evangelista. Also to Carl Guian, McPrince with Nieves, good afternoon. Ria Janine Horospe, sino pa ba? Chitter Ace. Yes, sure, Anna. Notice ko parang hindi pala tumatakbo yung timer natin. All right. So uh, here goes. Uh, so you ended with. Carl Guillen, uh, am I correct? Ayan. So uh, we also have here Eileen um, McPrince. Yes, you did mention McPrince. Hello, McPrince. How are you doing? Uh, Ria, uh, Amethyst, Muros, uh, grade four, modesty. Uh, English teacher niya, siyempre, the one and only. Ma'am Merwin, uh, Cese Francisco. Uh, oh, Francisco Benitez, elementary school. All right. Ma'am Merwin Cese, magandang hapon po. Uh, who else do we have there? Uh, okay, Heavenly. Good afternoon as well, Jacob. Okay, and 
Sino pa ba? Angelo, hello, hello. Caleb, Lotto Evangelista, uh, Great for Chastity. Ayon. Okay, so once again, good afternoon and welcome sa ating uh, uh, tutorial session for English 4. And with that being said, syempre, uh, this would be our tradition uh, almost, almost every week na to. So we have here, Tutor and our, uh, our quarter three, we four champs. And allow me to share or allow me to present them to you, starting with the one and only Jacob T. Estrella. Ayan. Congratulations, Jacob. So this is a sample of his work about how trees are important. Who else do we have there? Of course, kasunod naman, we have here Clint Cedric Tabieros from Post Elementary School, Calamba, Laguna. And he chose the key sentence that women can make a difference. Ayan. Good job, Clint. Hello, Clint. Ang aking uh, kapwa negrosano na yun. <laughs> All right. Ryan Matthew Kobar. Ayan. So Ryan was also able to take a picture of his work. Um, he also talked about trees, the importance of trees, uh, that is. We also have here Eileen Okut. Uh, here's a sample of her work. Uh, who else do we have there? Tutor Ann. We also have here Elon Richard Z. Elenon from Francisco Benitez Elementary School. The key sentence that he chose was, plants need sunlight. And then we also have here Rihanna Flores from Pilapayong Elementary School with her work. Um, her output is all about also the importance of trees. Our next uh, week four champion for quarter three, we have uh, Zaira Juliano uh, from San Pedro Villa Concepcion Elementary School. All right, so here's a sample of her work and she focused on how reading is a good hobby. Next, we have here Gian Leva. All right, so Gian, here's uh, here's the work of Gian, also talking about how trees are important. Okay. Yes, and we also have here Jeremer Balila from Francisco Benitez Elementary School. His work or his output was all about reading as a good hobby. And also next to Jeremer, we have your Lawton C. Evangelista III from Francisco Benitez Elementary School. And his output uh, focused on reading as a good hobby as well. Our next week four champion is none other than Yana Rain Leonardo of Tilapay Elementary School. And this, uh, this is her work. Uh, she also talked about how trees are important. At siyempre, ito din. We also have with us, uh, as one of our week four champs, Heavenly Tangian. Uh, here's the work of Heavenly also about how trees are important. And of course, eto, we also have McPreece Liz Nietes from Francisco Benitez Elementary School. And his output was all about the key sentence that na I ni McPreece is that reading is a good hobby. All right, there you go. So that's... Um... Those are our week four champions. Once again, congratulations. I know that you're very excited to, to start our lesson for week five because our topic will be all about the use of graphic organizers in text red. All right, so are you ready with, uh, with your pen, paper, and module? If so, then go ahead and comment that in the comment section. Ready na po, tutor, say on. So, tutor Ann, for the past few weeks, what have we learned about? Yes, for the past few weeks, we have learned already about adverbs, adverbs of manner, place, time. And then we also have um, learned about writing directions using signal words, distinguish between general and specific statement. And last week, we were able to learn also on identifying the main idea, key sentences, and supporting details from text listened to. And today, we are now um, learning on how to use appropriate graphic organizers in text thread. There you go. And uh, Chitter and according to our champion learners this afternoon, reading ready na, reading ready na sila for, uh, for, our, uh, uh, for, for another afternoon of learning. And of course, before we proceed, pasasalamatan natin our reference module prepared by DepEd Region 5. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, DepEd Region 5, for this very comprehensive module. And Chitter and what do we hope to achieve for this afternoon? For this afternoon, our tutees uh, should be able to do the following. A, the first one is to familiarize with the different kinds of graphic organizers, show comprehension of the text read by answering the questions correctly, and lastly is to use to be able to use graphic organizer in presenting ideas from a text. 
All right, so once again, that's all about graphic organizers. So let's start this afternoon with an activity. Here goes the instruction for our first activity this afternoon. All right, so direction reads, read the short text, then complete the graphic organizer on the next slide. All right, now here's the thing. Before we read this, we would like to show you the graphic organizer first, and we would strongly suggest, we would recommend that you copy this one, uh, say in your uh, paper, for example, or uh, say in your notebooks, because this is what we're going to answer later on. As we, habang binabasa namin ni Chuter an yung yung reading selection, you're going to have to take down notes. Ano ba yung problem? Ano ba yung solution? Yun yun, all right? So let's give them probably uh, 10 seconds to... Um, to copy this one. Again, uh, champion learners, I'd like you to take note, pay attention to what's being shown on your screens right now, and then copy this one, and then we're gonna fill it out later, okay? So I believe uh, th this is actually very simple. Problem, one uh, rectangle solutions, three rectangles below that. Okay, na ba? Sige. All right, so let's go back to the selection. Tutor Ann, uh, far away. All right, so the text reads, bullying continues to affect young students. Young learners tend to air their likes or dislikes to the rest of the internet community. As a result, many become victims of bullying. A simple post of a picture revealing awkward situations of a person can affect the victim forever. Expressing one's feelings or thoughts is normal, but it should come with responsibility. This problem has to stop, and the only way to stop it is to inculcate respect among young students. They must be taught how to become a responsible internet user. Parents and teachers must join hands to put remedies to this problem. Ayan, Ayan, so thank you for that one, uh, Chiran. Yes, go ahead, please. Ayan, so... Uh, Ito naman, uh, let us first, based on the text that we have just read, now dear Judy's, we would like you to identif identify first the problem mula sa binasa natin text. So ano yung, ano yung, uh, what was the problem presented on the text that we have just read? Sige nga. Alright, or, so. Yeah. Yes, Shooter Ace, or probably we could just go back to the text once more so that sure. we could um, have, or go over with, um, the text presented earlier. But actually, Chuter Ace, meron na tayong sagot. Mm -hmm. According to Heavenly, Caleb, and McPrince, we have here bullying ang ating problem or the problem presented in this text is bullying. So let's see. All right. Bullying nga ba yung ating problem doon sa ating selection na binasa? You are correct. Congratulations, everyone. The problem is indeed bullying. Now, syempre, as explained earlier, we also have to identify the solutions presented in the text. Sige, yun naman yung ating challenge sa kanila for this afternoon, Tutor Ann. Speaking of uh, which, um, Tutor Ace, meron na tayong mga sagot. Um, some of them actually have given already one solution and the rest could actually do that. One or two solutions you could actually uh, provide in our comment section here. We have here from McPrince, um, Liv Nieves. Uh, we have here uh, one solution based on the text we have read, inculcate respect among young students. Diba? And sino ba ba yung nakapagbigay? Yeah, so mm -hmm. the same also, the same answer also from Heavenly. How about the others? Eto, sabi ni Yana Rain, become a responsible internet user. The same, inculcate respect din. Diba, kagaya na nga palagi natin sinasabi dito sa ating online tutorial, first thing you have to, of course, show respect, diba? That is correct. So, <laughs> hindi lang limited yung bullying within the classroom, tutor and It can also happen online, which is why Yun nga yung sinasabi mo, palagi nating reminder sa kanila, always show respect kahit mapakomment section pa yan. Alright, so uh, we also have here another answer uh, from Caleb. Uh, teach uh, them how to become responsible internet users. Yes, yun din, inculcate respect, maging responsable tayo. Alright, so Tutor Ann, uh, shall we reveal the answers now? Alright, so yes. once again. Mm -hmm. We have here uh, bullying, and then here, here's a follow-up answer from Caleb as well. Uh, parents and teachers must join hands to put remedies. And here's another one from Zyra. Allow me to share this with you as well. Uh, be responsible students, and you must be respectful to one another. Ayan. So here are 
solutions to your end, starting with, syempre, na point out na nila kanina, inculcate respect among students. Tama. Pangalawa, Twitter A's, meron din, they must be taught how to become a responsible internet user. And lastly, that is of course that parents and teachers must join hands to put remedies on this problem. Ayun, so... Uh, in my assessment, sure, Anne, uh, paunang activity pa lang to, parang na, na, nakuha talaga nila kung ano yung hinahanap natin. Sige, let's proceed with uh, another activity here. Now, we have a text that we would like to read to you, but before that, syempre, unlocking of difficult words tayo, or new words that is, syempre, para mas uh, mabilis natin maintindihan yung uh, selection na ibabasa natin. So, Tutor Anne, directions read, Read the sentences and be able to identify the meaning of the underlined words using context clues. Choose the letter of the correct answer from the given choices. Number one, Tutor Anne. Okay, for number one, we have here the typhoon did not destroy our sturdy house. So, the ibig sabihin ng salitang sturdy being underlined in our first item here. And we have here our choices. A quiet, B strong, C having a sweet smell. D, a substance added to soil or land, or E, sticky fine grain soil molded when wet, dried, and baked to make pots. So, ang ibig sabihin ng salitang sturdy. Yes, and Tutor Anne, we have answers coming in. Starting with McPrince, answering B, sturdy daw is another word for strong. That's uh, sinasangayunan din niya ni uh, Jian, uh, Lawton, Yana Rain. They all agree with uh, McPrince. The correct answer is letter B. Uh, Mary Sofia Camacho, also letter B. The correct answer for number one is... Of course, letter B. Sturdy means strong. So good job, everyone. Good job, everyone. So number two, it is it is a peaceful night since everybody is fast asleep. All right, so the underlined word is peaceful. Choices are letter A, quiet. Letter B, strong. Letter C, having a sweet smell. Letter D, a substance a substance added to soil or land. Letter E, sticky fine grain uh, soil molded when wet, dried, and baked to make pots. Okay, so the underlined word is peaceful. And we have our uh, answers here to their A's from Zeus, Gian, Mary Sophia, Germer, Lawton, Dennis, McPrince, Eileen, Clint, actually, I had to their A's. Peaceful thou is letter A, quiet. Are they correct? Ayon. So the correct answer for number two is letter A, quiet. So number three na tayo. Number three, butterflies visit the fragrant flowers in the garden. Our underlined word here is fragrant. So we still have the same set of um, choices here. So alin dito yung... Uh, definition or ano ibig sabihin ng salitang fragrant based on mm -hmm. the context it was used. All right, so we have here Tutor and Angelo saying that the correct answer is letter uh, letter C having a sweet smell. Okay, so Jeremiah letter C heavenly, letter C Dennis, uh, uh, okay. Gian Clint letter C. McPrince, the rest of the uh, champion learners uh, answered letter C for number three. The correct answer for number three is... Letter C, again. Okay, and number four. Number four, handle the pots with care. They are made of clay. So we have here the word underlined is clay. So we still have the same set of choices. So alin dito yung definition ng salitang Place. Is it A, B, C, D, or E? All right. So, Tutor Anne, we have McPrince saying that the correct answer for number four is letter E, Lawton, letter E, Jairamir, letter E, Mary, Angelo, letter E. What is the correct answer? The correct answer for number four is letter E, sticky fine grain soil molded when wet, dried, and baked to make pots. Ayon, and we have here number five. You have to put fertilizer on the plants to keep them healthy. Same set of options, same choices. What is the meaning of fertilizer? Yeah, so let's just add them up. Super ace. For number five, we have here McPrint saying it's letter D. The same answer also from Germer, Caleb, Dennis, Althea, and Zyra. Are they correct? Fertilizer, letter D. 
Number five, the correct answer is indeed letter D. All right, a substance added to soil or land. All right, congratulations, kiddos. We would like to know your scores in the comment section. Type them in. And I'm very confident, Shooter Ann, that they were able to get a perfect score. So, um, sige, comment nyo na ang yung scores for that, uh, for our vocabulary uh, test for this afternoon. All right? Yes, at kaya nga nang sinabi ko, Shooter Ace, hindi ka nga nagkakamali. They lahat sila nakakuha ng 5 out of 5, which only um, shows that they will find our text easy to understand. So, let's present na yung selection na kanilang dapat nabasahin this afternoon. So, um, we will be reading this to you and we are expecting everyone also to read with us uh, at your own home. So, eto na, sisimulan ko na, Chitter Ace, we have here the selection entitled Home by Maria, Francia, and Bulacan. So, <clears throat> let's begin. My family and I live in a far but peaceful town. We live in a small hut surrounded by plants. We help each other in keeping our home neat and clean. Father and I work in our garden every morning. It is filled with green, leafy vegetables. We built a sturdy fence around it and painted it blue. And to continue, mother has her garden too. Our front lawn is filled with fragrant and colorful flowers. Mother and sister have pink clay pots. They remove the weeds that grow water them every day, and put fertilizer too. We feel happy looking at all these things growing around the house. It makes the surroundings look happy and lively. It feels fun helping one another in keeping our home beautiful and filling it with love too. All right, so uh, we have a couple of questions for you, champion learners. I hope you were able to digest uh, the the, uh, the article that we read earlier. First question for you this afternoon is, what is the text about? Yes, patungkol right. saan uh, binasa natin na teksto. Sige nga, and we have here an answer. Ang bilis, sabi ni Caleb, mm -hmm. it's all about home. Sabi ni Eileen, it's all about home. The same also from heavenly. Are they correct? Should they Tignan natin. All right. So the answer, yes, the text is about home. Tama. All right. Number two. Ito, meron, walang right or wrong answer to. It depends on their, ano lang, sa sariling sagot nila. So number two, in what ways can you help maintain a clean home? Ayan. So, uh, tumutulong ba ang lahat sa mga, ano, pag uh, papanatili ng palilisan ng kanilang mga tahanan? So there is, we will find out soon, di ba? Ano pa yung ginagawa nila? Hindi lang masipag sa pag-aral, masipag din sa gawaing bahay, di ba? Yes, yun tama. Yun. Dapat ganyan. Ikaw, Tutor Ace, ano nga ginagawa mo to maintain your house clean? Both well, um, I make my bed uh, every morning when I wake up. That's uh, that's the first thing that I do. All right. And uh, syempre, I, I definitely help with the household chores. Parang uh, natatawa ka. <laughs> no, it, it only <laughs> amazes me because, of course, we do household yes. first, right? yeah. At gaya nga rin ng ating mga tutis sa Tutor A, mm -hmm. we have your sabi ni Aileen by cleaning the house. Uh, siguro, um, si Aileen does a lot of work, di ba? And we also have your Yana, sabi ni Yana, doing household chores po. Sabi ni Caleb, mop the floor. Ayan, nagsisipag ng ating mga tutis dito, Tutor A. At sabi ni Roto, nagmamop din ng ng floor at saka mopping and sweeping the floor. Ayan. Sabi ni Clint, sweep and do not scatter. Sabi naman ni Caleb, uh, nag-organize siya ng kanyang mga gamit, Tutor Anne. Ayan. Uh, according kay Althea, clean the house and don't throw throw trash everywhere. Tama yan, Althea. Alright? So I hope everyone's actually doing that as well. McPrints, by sweeping and by mopping and doing other chores. Uh, who else do we have here? Uh, here? Okay, Lord Wayne Eluna doing the chores. There you go. All right, so I'm proud and I'm glad to know that everyone is actually helping, uh, helping in household chores and maintaining the house clean. All right, yeah. so well, speaking of uh, actually sharing ideas, the bachelor is actually basing on the text. There were there are two ways that we could do 
to present yung mga uh, napag-alaman natin ng mga informasyon mula sa tekstong binasa natin. And we have it here na. So I'd like everyone to uh, please take note of how these ideas are being presented. There are, we will be presenting to you, uh, we will be presenting it to you in two ways. So please observe and take notice on the difference between these two presentations. So for presentation A here, Chapter A, so you have here um, the following listed down on how to keep our home neat and clean. And we have it here. First one, father and I work in our garden every morning. We built a sturdy defense around the garden and painted it blue. Mother and sister filled the front lawn with fragrant and colorful flowers. And lastly, is that they remove the weeds that grow, water them every day, and put fertilizer. To all of these statements were taken from the text that we have read. Diba? So, enumerating lang. So, ano bang second presentation, Chitter A? Yes, eto naman. We have another way of presenting that information. Here goes presentation B. All right, so kung kanina napalist na, na tayo doon, dito naman meron tayo, gumamit naman tayo ng shapes and that's where we uh, that's where we put in the information that we needed. At, at meron color, color coding dito. Uh, the, the topic or the title is actually uh, found at the center. And then above that, we have father and I and doon nakalagay yung mga, uh, yung mga activities na ginagawa. Uh, Nina father at saka yung author, di ba? Whereas, do naman sa baba, yun naman yung mga ginagawa ni na mother and sister. And like I said earlier, merong color coding. Si father, uh, orange, uh, father and the author, orange yung ginagamit uh, doon to present that information. Mother and sister, green naman. Ayun. Tama. Now, between these two presentation, yung presentation A at saka presentation B, which one do you find it easier to understand the information being presented. Sige nga, presentation A ba o presentation B? Saan yung mas, ano, uh, uh, you're, you're on mute, uh, Chitter A. Apologies. Ayun. Kung alin sa kanila yung mas, uh, mas mabilis intindihin, intindihin, yung pagkatingin mo pa lang, nakikita mo na if, para sa anong information na to, kanino ba nabibilong yung yung qualities na ganito or, or activities na ganito. So sige, survey tayo sa inyo. Alin oh, para sa inyo yung mas Yes, mas um uh, uh, easier to understand presentation. Yes. Yes, so, ito na nga actually um Chitter Ace, marami ang nagsasabi that they were able to mm -hmm. understand it better if the ideas or information were presented in the way it was presented in presentation B. Bakit nga ba, Chitter A? Okay, sige. I, I would actually agree with that because presentation B is more appealing and easy to understand. At ito yung tinatawag natin. This is an example of a graphic organizer. We already have uh, one of our champion learners comment that uh, kanina while we were talking about uh, presentation B. Caleb, you are correct. This is an example of a graphic organizer. So ano ba yung, uh, how do we define a graphic organizer, Tutor Anne? Tama yan, uh, Tutor A. It's actually, a graphic organizer is a combination of text and images. Kanina, you pointed that out. Kung gumagamit tayo ng shapes, we have colors here. It is to help present the details or ideas in a short, clear, and understandable manner. Kung, kung kanina, dun sa presentation B, we, we listed down all the information in complete sentences. Dito, kapag gumamit tayo ng graphic organizers, we only have it in the shortest and clearer and more understandable uh, way. Diba? That is correct. According to Heavenly Tutor and presentation B, because it's organized by colors. Yes, Ayaw, All right, and uh, another... Uh, 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 if, if I may add to that, Shitter Anne, instead of expressing the ideas in complete sentences, gaya ng sa dun sa uh, presentation A, if I'm not mistaken, it's actually possible to just to use phrases to emphasize important points. Hindi mo kailangang i-copy yung buong pangungusap at ilagay dun sa, uh, sa graphic organizer, or in this case, sa, sa shapes natin dyan. You can just simply take out a phrase and just, you know, pick out the most important, emphasize the most important points. Yes, tama yan, Tutor Ace. Alam mo, um, I really love this discussion that we're having right now because even our tutees are sharing their ideas. Kagaya nga, sabi dito, Maprint, sabi niya, graphic organizers are also used for teaching and learning. Exactly. And even when you're studying, you could actually use also graphic organizers in organizing your thoughts, di ba? Para mas, ano, detail lang na very detailed, but you could use 
Ito na nga, shapes, images, di ba? And sabi ni Caleb dito, it's easy for me to understand and remember. Do you agree with that, Sister A? Yes. Agree, 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 agree ako dyan, all right? So, uh, let's have a uniform definition, um, uh, Chair Anne, ab about graphic organizers. Graphic organizers are charts or visuals which can, which are used to represent what we think of. They can help us understand what we read, all right? So, additional information? Yes, they are also um, useful tools in organizing and presenting information in a short, understandable manner. They can be in any form, design, shape, or size as long as they show or represent how much you understood the text. Right? So you have the freedom on how to design your graphic organizer. All right, and some common types of graphic organizers can show a sequence, sequence of events, problem solution, description, similarities and differences, and more. And Tudor Ann, let's show them. Ano ba yung mga examples of graphic organizers? Mind you, champion learners, hindi, hindi pa lahat to. We, we only took out, you know, the, 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 the most popular graphic organizers, but ang dami pa nito. All right, so let me start with, eto, on, on the left side of your screen, you can find there the concept map. All right, next we have the Venn diagram found there in the middle. Uh, it's it's actually to compare uh, two things, their similarities and differences. And we also have a storyboard as a, uh, as, as a graphic organizer as well. Yes, meron din tayo ng cost and effect diagram. We also have your description or prediction chart. And lastly, the main idea. So uh, very useful to sa ating topic last week, right? Presenting main idea and then at the that's bottom correct. box that's there, you could put the supporting details. All right, so uh, we have learning task number one. Para sa inyo, champion learners, at yung directions natin, use the graphic organizers to present the details about the topic given. All right, sige. So let's proceed. Uh, we have here a selection. So children, let's show them first, di ba? Or ano, ano ba yung gagawin natin? Let's show them first kung ano yung graphic organizer na gagawin nila. Yes. All right, so eto. So this is how it's going to look like. I'd like you to take your time and copy this one in your notebooks. And as we read along with the selection, take down the important details. Okay. See again. So uh, while we're giving them time to do that, McPrints, there are also graphic organizers like Concept Map, T Chart, Semantic Web, Venn Diagram, and Fishbone Fishbone Diagram. I, uh, and that is correct, uh, McPrints. So, Tutor Ann, ito yung uh, reading selection natin. Go ahead, please. All right. My mother bought my sister a new dress. It is bright yellow and filled with sparkly stones. The hemlines are stitched with a white lacy cloth. There are little roses with leaves embroidered on the skirt, too. It is very pleasant to look at. Ayan. So, based on our graphic organizer earlier, Nathan Nakita and Shooter Ace, so we have there already given you the topic, which is all about uh, the dress given. And then we have there on the first um, hexagon, first shape dito, we have already provided with you the uh, first description, bright yellow. So for the rest of um, the shapes here, all you have to do is to fill them with uh, descriptions of the dress presented in the text that you have read. So you could at least give us three descriptions of the dress para ma-complete natin ang ating uh, um, graphic organizer. And we have here uh, Tutor Ace from Caleb. We have uh, Pleasant, sabi ni Caleb. Ano pa? How about from the others? Ano pa yung ginamit natin na description uh, na describe, uh, to describe the dress? Sabi mm -hmm. ni Caleb, filled with sparkly stones. All right. So, um, sino pa ba may uh, ang, ang makapagbigay dyan? All right. Filled. Ito, sabi ni Eileen. Eileen, filled with sparkly stones, stitched with a white lacy cloth, and there are roses with leaves. All right. So, re reveal na natin, Shooter Ann, ano ba yung uh, mga details na hinahanap natin? So, we have there, the topic is all about the dress. Ito yung mga nakuha natin. We have bright yellow, new, filled with sparkly stones, pleasant, and hemlines with white lazy cloth. So far, so yeah. good, right? At tama naman sila, Chitter Ace. Actually, naibigay naman nilang lahat. Also from Heavenly, McPrince, 
um, Jacob, Lazy Cloth, Ayan, you, sabi niya na, very good. Good job, everyone. All right, so here goes learning task number two. Directions, use the graphic organizer to present the problem and solutions in the following text. Okay, so gaya ng kanina, let us show you how this graphic organizer is supposed to look like. All right, so uh, take your time. Very simple. Uh, we have a um, a uh, rectangle with rounded corners. Don't the left. Jan natin lalagay yung problem. And then uh, to the right, we have uh, two rectangles with rounded corners for solution one, solution two, and two arrows pointing out towards them. All right. Sige. Uh, Tutor Ace, simulan na. Yes. For our second text here, Andy always gets low scores. Andy always gets low scores in exams. He seems always tired and sleepy. He decided to sleep early at night. He also decided to spend most of his free time reading. After some time, his grades improve. Now, bago namin, uh, before we transfer it to the next slide, identify first the problem and then take note of the two solutions presented here in the text. So, ano bang problema ni Andy dito? At paano niya binigyan solusyon ang problema ito? All right, so once again, let's uh, let's have a preview of the graphic organizer that we're going to be using for that particular text. Do we have answers already, champion learners? What is the problem? What are the two solutions? And this problem was his low scores, Low scores in exam, which is, of course, right, right? Right, right? Andy always gets low scores in exams you are correct uh we have here jaira mir lawton zyra uh caleb congratulations ayon you're correct andy always gets low scores in exams sige proceed naman tayo with the solution the two solutions na nailista ninyo na ilagay ninyo sa ating graphic organizer ayon i'm i'm go i'm going to flash the uh the reading selection once again the text so that you can uh, gather take note of uh, the, the important details. At ayan na nga, Tutor Ace, meron na tayong sagot actually. So we have here mm -hmm. from a prince um, stating the problem and he always gets low scores and exam solutions, dalawang solution. Yung binigay ni McPrince dito, sleep early at night. And then the second solution is use most of his free time reading. So we also have your answers from um, Rihanna. Solution, sleep early, study harder. And from... Nakita ko kanina from um, Heavenly. Parang may sagot na si Heavenly kanina. Ito, Heavenly. Sabi ni Heavenly, he decided to sleep early at night. And then the second solution, he decided to spend most of his time in reading. And ayan, tapos na. Tapos si Rihanna. Sino pa ba? The same also for Yana. Sleep early and spend his free time reading, which of course are the correct answers. Diba? So problem ni Andy, mababa yung score sa exam. So, he studied harder and slept early at night. All right. So we have here learning task number three, direction style. I use the appropriate graphic organizer given to present the series of events in the story. So ito, uh, th this one's a lot easier because uh, the, the text and the graphic organizers, uh, the graphic organizer are actually being shown um, on your screens right now. So we don't have to shift back and forth between you know, the, the text and the graphic organizer. So, ayun, there you go. So, uh, we'd like you to take note of the sequence, the series of events, right, Shooter Ann? Tama, Shooter A. So, uh, alin kayo dito yung tamang pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga pangyayari? So, this is um, on the left side of your screen. That's uh, the series of events that you have to um, organize or put in order. So, we have already done the first one for you. So the first event there should be Joshua woke up early and feels excited about his basketball game. So basahin niyo muna maigi yung ating uh, mga events dito. And then let's see, ano kaya yung susunod na pangyayari? Diba? So uh, let's read probably a chapter uh, the sentences sure. na lang. So we have here, um, his father took him to the basketball court. He happily helped his father wash and clean the car. Joshua got a pail, soap, and rags from the garage. Joshua woke up early and feels excited about his basketball game, and that's the first 
um, event here. He put on his basketball uniform while the car dried in the noon sun, and he ate a heavy breakfast with his father. So ano kaya yung uh, susunod na mangyayari? Gumising si Joshua. I took a very excited shot for his basketball game. What's the next? Uh, what should be the next event here? Ikaw right. but, uh, but Shooter Ace, are you fond of uh, playing basketball? Yes, I did play basketball in uh, in high school, but then hindi tayo pinalad sa height. Eh. So, uh, <laughs> hindi, hindi na ako masyado nag-focus doon. Pero as a hobby, yes, during, uh, when I was in high school, sure, I, I did play basketball. And yeah, so ito na, Chuter Ace, meron na tayong uh, sagot dito from Liana, sabi niya, and from Jedomer, sabi nila, the second event should be he ate a heavy breakfast with his father. Tama ba sila? Sige, tingnan natin. Yes, he ate a heavy breakfast with his father. So ano kaya ang susunod dito? So we're done with the first and the second. Ano naman yung third event dito? Gumising siya? He felt very excited and now he ate breakfast with his father. What's the third or what's the next event? Yeah. Ano kaya yung uh, susunod? Ika third. Yung number three natin dito. Ano kaya? Mm. Uh, Chitaran, I think I understand the baka natatagalin sila because they're going to have to type in the entire sentence. So why don't we do it this way? Uh, ayun na nga. Uh, see, for example, yung, uh, the, the answer that we had earlier was actually found in the sixth uh, sentence based on the graphic organizer. So we're just going to have to ask them to give na lang kung anong sentence ba dun yung dapat na susunod. All right. But nevertheless, we have here McPrint saying that the third one is letter C. Joshua got a pail, soap, and rags from the garage. All right. So that's our third sentence. And from the uh, from, from the given uh, details na hindi pa na-organized, it's also coming from the third one sa, sa, sa list natin dyan. All right. So for the fourth sentence or the fourth event na dapat na mangyayari, ano ba yung... Uh, uh, what, what should follow? We actually have McPrince here because he's not just going to say, All right. Okay. So, uh, so uh, you na yung, uh, lahat, yes, like, uh, very good. The same also with Yana. So, can we just uh, yeah. probably read their answers? Uh, sure. We have here from Yana. Sabi niya, he ate a heavy breakfast with his father. Joshua got a pail, soap, and rags from the garage. He happily helped his father wash and clean the car. He put on his basketball uniform while the car dried in the noon sun. And lastly, his father took him to the basketball court. Ayun. The same, I believe they yes. have the same answers with McPrince as well. Sige nga, uh, Tutor Ace, let's present uh, the correct um, order of the events here. Ayan. So yes. He ate a heavy breakfast, got a pail, and then happily helped his father wash and clean the car, and then put on his basketball uniform, and of course, his father took him to the basketball court. So tama naman silang lahat. Congratulations. And of course, we would like to know their scores sa ating mga learning task kanina. We had the learning task number one, two, and three. And uh, we, we would like to know your scores. Type them in the type type them in the comment section as we share to you your assessment slash additional exercise for week number five. All right, so directions. Use appropriate graphic organizers to present the important details in each paragraph or text. Write the answers on your answer sheet. Yes, so again, our tutor is yung ating assessment will be done by our tutees at their home na lang. Kasi medyo mahaba yung ating topic for today and 40 minutes is not really enough for us to um, really elaborate on uh, this one. So uh, kindly take a screenshot. So we will be providing you with three texts here and all you have to do is to present the ideas in the graphic organizer that you think is appropriate for each text. All right, so here's number one. Uh, once again, Champion Learners, take a screenshot. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to do that. I think do a boolean within 10 seconds, right? So here goes number one. All you have to do is just to make a graphic organizer for uh, for, for this uh, particular uh, reading text. Now here goes selection number two. All right. So selection number two, take the reach out, 10 seconds for you. Yeah, 
So I oh. guess uh, they're done. Uh, or pwede rin naman nilang balikan yung ating uh, uh, online mm-hmm. session, di ba? If they miss oh, it, you have it copy. And, uh, and this is our last text here. Yes, go Dennis. Screenshot. Yes, para may, ano ka, may copy ka. Or so what we can also do, Chitter Ann, just, uh, just to back it up, we can also share this. I post natin sa ating page mamaya para yes, tama. pwede na nilang tignan doon. Alright? So, so it's easier for them. So additional ano lang naman, if you want to take a screenshot, that that's perfectly fine. Uh, but yeah. nevertheless, rest assured, we're going to post this one as well. Alright? Ito, may, may tanong si Alte. Any graphic organizer po ba? Yes, Alte, as long as it's um, appropriate in uh, uh, presenting the ideas given in each text. So, maraming graphic organizers tayo, you explore, you explore them and try to use uh, those graphic organizers. And for your outputs, you may submit them here in our Facebook page, Itulay English for with Tutor Ace and Tutor Ang. Send them as a message at nang makita namin kung paano nyo ginamit yung mga graphic organizers na inyong natutunan. All right, Ayan, I think you can hear me now. All right, so the button was actually stuck. All right, so uh, Tudor Ann, quick recap. Graphic organizers are charts or visuals which are used to represent what we think of. They can help us understand what we read. And also, they are useful tools in organizing and presenting information in a short, understandable manner. They can be in any form, design, shape, or size, as long as they show or represent how much you understand the text read. And also, to the race, bago natin uh, i-closing ating session, meron pa tayong medyo may mga konting uh, questions lang. Um, for your assessment, once again, you have to present them in graphic organizer. So we have three texts, di ba? So we would be, we will be expecting three texts three graphic organizers as well from you. So, isang graphic organizer, organizer lang per text. But they're going to have to do all three, right? Yes, tama. Yan. All right. Sige. All right. So, I think uh, we were able to clear that up. And in behalf of the entire elementary English team, headed by none other than Dr. Rubilin Pastrano, thank you, thank you so much for your um, for your continued support sa ating uh, Itulay session every Tuesday afternoon. All right. So um, if you have uh, feedback, we would like to encourage you to do so by uh, sending us a feedback form using the link that's being provided there, or might as well scan the QR code that's also being flashed on screen right now. Yes, tama. For comments and suggestions, email us at edtech at dev.gov. Email us at and this is Tutor Ace. And this is Tutor Ann. See you next Tuesday. See, See you next Tuesday. Tuesday. Have a great week. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasamang iyong mahusay 
at nga itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay.